Today could be a massive day for Regen Rovers. Welcome to episode 52 then of this Football Manager 2017 Creator Club series. We are so close, yet so far from promotion. It's sort of in our hands. If we can win the rest of our games by more goals than York City can win the rest of their games, then we are champions. But we have really struggled over the last few games. And I'm sure there's lots of you saying, you know, bottle job, you know, we're, we're doing a bottle job that Dr. Benji would be proud of. You know, it's, it's, it's a struggle. And in the last episode, I did revert to an older tactic that I have used previously that, to be honest, didn't really work very well previously. But it worked against Woking. But against Gateshead, it wasn't good enough. I'm going to stick with it against Salford because they are hopefully going to be coming at us in this game, aiming to try and get into the playoffs, I guess. And we can counter-attack them and punish their defence, hopefully. And we're also taking on Staley Bridge Celtic Football Club today. It's a warm day, 19 Celsius, as you can see there. Warm day in April. Are we going to do it? I don't know. Now, it's going to go down to the last couple of games, isn't it? And that's going to be a separate episode. If you want that episode out later today, smash that like button. 500 likes and I will upload episode 53 this evening. So double upload day for, for Region Rovers, possibly on the cards if you hit that like button. We've not had a double upload day before. Anyway, the team I'm using to take on Salford City is Sivzelis Walker by Chris Holmes at the back because Lawrence is now injured for the rest of the season. So I think We'll go for some reliability in Chris Holmes at the back. Warren and Green, our usual wing backs. Marlu and Dibba in the middle with McKenzie continuing to play him in that advanced playmaker role. We're playing him behind Chick and Palmer, sticking with those two up front as well. On the bench, we've got War back from food poisoning. Charlie Lofts, who's just come back from injury. Kevin Miguel, Lee Orford, and Bradley Berry. So Lee Orford's back on the bench after scoring a goal for the under 23s. Jack Young drops out of the team, I'm afraid. He's just played for the under-23s himself and he's not quite up to making this team. I'm nervous for today. This is huge. We could be a football glee club by the end of these two next episodes. What a story this is. We've come so far from those, those first couple of seasons, which were a right old struggle at the bottom of the, the National League South. But as our players have progressed, as they've got older and more experienced and we've brought in better players we have really developed into a good club and i'm so hopeful for the future if we don't go up i we've kind of thrown it away but at the same time maybe it's best for us to spend some more seasons in this league and acclimatize and get better but at the same time i think if we don't go up we won't progress quite the same because we are being held back by being a semi-pro club the training isn't as good you know, they're not full-time players and the players will not be getting better as much. If they, if they were full-time players, they would be improving much better. Good tackle there by Holmes and it's knocked up the pitch, but Brady Chick isn't pacey enough to get on the end of that. And uh, they can mop up. Battered up the pitch by Oxley. Headed away. Here's, here's McKenzie back to Dibber. Lovely ball into Brady D. Chick who's through. Chick, he's hit it just wide. Just wide. That was an opportunity though. Clear cut chance. Oh, it's so tight. We've won a corner. Tim Green knocks it into the box. It's headed over the bar by Chris Holmes. We've dropped down to second as York City take the lead against Aldershot Town. Now we really need to get a goal here. Come on, Brady Check. It's into Marlowe. Marlowe through to, to Palm. We've played all right in this game. Here's Tim Green chipping it just wide. We've had three clear cut chances and a half chance and we've missed them all. It's not good enough. Fired them up. And I'm, I'm going to leave it on this tactic, but we will go attacking. We've been unlucky. But I'm going to bring Craig Palmer off. And I'm actually going to bring on Orford as the advanced forward. Free kick to Salford. Oh, they've played a short one to try and catch us out. But now our players are coming out. And Marlowe does well. And he's batted it up for Orford, who can run onto this. Can he finish? He's hit the crossbar. Oh, <laughs> What a cock up. That is hilarious, but I will take it. That is brilliant. What a own goal. That's probably the best one yet. Orford slams it against the crossbar. He's so unlucky, but look at this. 
The, he's just the defenders come in and just smashed it into the back of the net, but it's come off Oxley on the way through. That's so weird, but brilliant at the same time. And we're back at the top of the table, I guess. But here comes Salford straight away. I'm going to go back to counter, I think, although they're probably going to score now. And then I'll just have to cancel my my amendments. Come on, lads, get in there. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, it's over the bar. Quick, counter. Free kick to Salford. It's another short one, but oh, in steps Warren, who does very well. Brady Chick, oh, brilliant skill to beat his man. Can he put a ball into the box? He's tackled. Oh, he should have got rid of it sooner. But look at this closing down from us. That was intense. That was like Jurgen Klopp. Dibber into McKenzie. This is a nice play. Play it out wide. Tim Green was open there. What are we doing? Why did you do that? You just gave the ball away unnecessarily. If you'd played it out wide to Tim Green, we wouldn't have been in this situation. And somehow we survive. That is poor play. It's really annoying. That was a simple pass to Tim Green as well. I'm taking off Brady Chick. He's sort of run out of legs a bit. And I'm going to play Orford as the target man now. McKenzie's going to drop back into the middle. And what I'm going to do is we'll play him as the ball in midfielder as... Well, I've, and Marlow. There we go. We're not going to look for the overlap or do that anymore. Can we hang on for the rest of the second half? There's still a hell of a long time to play in this match. But as it stands, we're still top of the table by two goals. Not long to go. Kevin Miguel is going to come on for McKenzie. Stuart Warren's had a bad game, 6.1. We're only one goal ahead of York City now. It's so close. Ah oh, no, we're level on goals. I think we're winning. We're ahead of them on goals scored. Oh, this is tight. York City could. Oh no, no, Salford. Oh, it's over the bar. He just went for the first time hit, and somehow we're hanging on to this result. But it's a corner headed away by Walker. Please don't give away a penalty right at the end again. Are we still top of the table? Have York scored another goal? I don't know. Let's find out. I'm nervous now. Well done guys, 1-0, we struggled to win and we are ahead of York City. Level 1 goal difference, ahead of them on goal scored. This is so tight, it's ridiculous. Because it's not really in our hands, in it. well it is in our hands, but both us and York have the power. I have to win my games by more than York City do. That's an impressive record from Danny by most man of the match awards in one season. He's managed to reach 10, which was his, pre his 9th, I think... I think nine was his previous record, so great stuff. As you can see, these are the records at the moment. I'm going to try and have a look at these at least once a season. Jack Young, still overall top goal scorer in terms of league goals. Most goals in a season, most appearances, 194. Highest average rating is still Danny By. Nothing much has changed apart from Spencer Drury this season. And also... Danny By now of most man of the match was, but you can see most assists in one season still Jack Young with 12. Well, Emmanuel Newball is not a, a hardcore Region Rovers fan because he totally forgot that we were playing today. Disgraceful. He's injured again, guys. Jack Young is officially a croc. He's so injury prone now that nowadays. After that severe injury, I think that's just ruined him a bit. Before that, he never really got injured. But suddenly, he gets injured for a long, long time, of course. It was a terrible injury for him. And since then he's picking up these three week, six week, couple month injuries and uh, he's injury prone now. I think that injury has basically made him injury prone. Is that possible in the game? One bad injury and it p boosts your injury proneness? I think theoretically that should be something included if it's not. Spencer Drury's back from injury though, which is very good news. Staley Bridge then, today away from home, they're 19th in the league. York City are taking on Kidderminster who are 20th in the league. So they will probably beat them. They've actually got Wrexham and Tranmere Rovers at the end of the season. So t two pretty tough games to end the season for them. Let's hope that they, they slip up in one of them. It is so unbelievably close. Stockport, they're not out of it. They're only three points behind us. I would have thought Barrow and Wrexham are slightly too far behind to catch us, but five points, it's still possible. But they'd have to rely on us, York City and Stockport, all slipping up. Still a battle for the playoffs. Staley Bridge are four points above the relegation zone. So they're not, they're not safe yet. But I would imagine that it might just about be enough. 
Kidderminster fighting for their lives. They might be able to do us a favour against York. Lots of players are getting back from injury right now. And I have changed the strike force and the defence again. Charlie Lofts, I've put him into the back line instead of Holmes. Charlie, Charlie Lofts has been good this year. I've been impressed with him, so that's why I want him. I think my best back of three is Lofts, By and Walker. Midfield stays the same, wing backs stay the same. The only change, other change, is Drury coming in up front alongside Brady Chick. Uh, Palmer drops to the bench. Drury's my top goal scorer, it's good to have him back. Do I play him as a poach or an advanced forward? Let's go with advanced forward, he's got acceleration to burn. Here we go then, away from home in Staley Bridge. Hoping that York slip up, but unlikely because they are on the war path at the moment. They are playing very well, and we've been very inconsistent of late, haven't we? Really struggling to get wins. We've looked so comfortable up to this point of the season, and suddenly, towards the end, we've picked up a couple defeats. We've started really struggling to find the back of the net. All of our strikers, none of them are in form really at the moment, which is a real worry. But let's hope Spencer Drury decides to, uh, to have his better side today, because we've seen two sides to him. The side where he's brilliant, can score four goals in one game, albeit against poor opposition like Slough. But then there's other times where he just seems to hate one-on-one -on -one situations and he just misses bizarrely quite often. They're really strange misses sometimes. Let's hope he can, can get a goal or two today. Here he is, Spencer Drury. It's back to Dibber. It's back into Drury. What's he going to do? It's nice ball through to Chick Marlow. This is nice play. Lovely interplay between them. Spencer Drury, nice ball out wide to Tim Green. It's into Drury, who... <laughs> Misses the ball, I think, there. I think one of the defenders must have put a foot in, but he, he literally had an air shot. Yeah, but at the moment, we're ahead of York. Barrow winning 2-0, though, and they're now only three points behind us. Here's Dibber. Into Chick. Can we get a goal here? It's Chick out wide to Green. Green into the box, and Spencer Drury it was going towards the corner, but Goff managed to save it. And that was a clear-cut chance, I think. I think he's had two clear-cut chances and missed them both. They weren't t terrible misses in my eyes, but still. I'm going to say being unlucky so far. And we'll just keep carry. In fact, I'm going to put Drury there. And I'm going to bring on Craig Palmer up front there. Okay, start second half. A huge half of football for Regen Rovers. is Stockport are now only one point behind us. It's so close, it's ridiculous. Good header. Drury loses the ball though. And now Staley Bridge can, can attack us. Guys, come on, get in there. Win it back. Come on, Warren. Nope. Didn't fancy it. Ah, but Walker steps in. Uh, but he's... Oh, what the hell was that? Sivzelis pulls off a brilliant save. But strange goings-ons. With Walker smashing it into the back of one of my other players. And Sivzelis catches that. Oh, ridiculous. Ridiculous. We're somehow still top of the table. We're going We're going three up front, guys. I'm going to play regular wing-backs, though. Chick's going to go there as a target man. Going to bring Drury off for Orford. I'm going to bring Miguel on for Marlow. A bit more of a solid defensive option there. But we are going quite attacking. We're actually going to go quite direct to Brady Chick and pray for a miracle. Come on. Just one goal can win us this game. <sighs> It's so close. It's so close. And this next episode is going to be even worse, I imagine. But I don't think we're, we're, going, we're not going to be able to win this. Three minutes to go. York take the lead and go top of the table. It was bound to happen, wasn't it? It was just so inevitable. Can we get a late goal? It doesn't look like it. Ten seconds to go. We go into the next episode in second place. We've thrown it away. There's still a good defending by Walker right at the end there. There's still a chance that we can get, we can win the league, but it's not in our hands anymore. These episodes have not, not gone to plan, have they? I'm disappointed. Walker looks stressed. Two points behind York City with two games to go, and they've also got a plus one goal difference ahead of us. We're only one point above Stockport as well. And we haven't even confirmed a playoff place <laughs> because of that draw. Well, 500 likes, guys, on this episode. We won a game, we drew a game, but it's not been good enough because York City have really turned it on towards the end of the season. 
But if we can get 500 likes, then I will upload episode 53 later on today and you can find out our fate. Will we be in the playoffs? Can we win the league? Or will it just go completely wrong and drop out the playoffs? I really hope not. That's surely, surely we've got a playoff pace, but you never know in football, do you? Anything can happen. Thanks for watching. I will see you very soon.